Well, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't mind our first period. I think just a lack of execution in our own zone, getting out, um, and they were stripping pucks from behind it. I mean, the shots weren't indicative of the chances. Um, um, so in the second period, I think it just started when, and we number one, we had to kill that penalty to open the period, and then. Uh, we mismanaged the puck, and you can't mis mismanage the puck against this team, and it turns right back and comes at us. And you can see the quality chances that they had, and Linus really stood tall at a, at a tough time. And you know, we get took a penalty, and obviously their power play is very good. But um, you know, to start the third period and the way we played the third period, I was really proud of the way we responded. Um, you know, we didn't force things that weren't there. We just played our game, and eventually uh, broke through. I think we deserved to get that goal. To tie it up. I know you would rather not have to come from behind or give up maybe even that many shots on goal, but did you guys really need a, a game like this? Well, I just think it, it shows them that they can still come back again. You know, uh, if they stay the course and, and, and stick with it, uh, they, these guys fought uh, right through to the end, to overtime, obviously. Connor gets a, a, a nice goal, and, and uh, you know, they get some looks as well, and he just stands up, but it just shows that. And if you just keep fighting and keep, you know, and our determination was really solid in the, th in the third and overtime that uh, we can find a way to win. It just reminds them that they can still do it. You tell about a guy that's been a little bit snake bit this year. How, I mean, to see him break through and have it against his own team. I mean, this is finally like for, to for Connor. Yeah. yeah, I thought uh, you know he elevated his game. Obviously, playing against his old team, uh, uh, get that first power play goal to start it off, and uh, and. and and I think the the lines were really rolling really good in the third, and uh, you know, he was a big part of that line with uh, Rodriguez and uh, Poso, and um, they they had a, a big impact on the game. Montour seemed, seemed like he had a very strong game again, not just because he scored the goal, but it just seemed like he was strong throughout the night. Yeah, I think he, he you know like I said before, he 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 plays to win, and. Uh, uh, he attacks the game. You know, he's trying to make a difference. He brought a, a physical element tonight, and uh, he got rewarded because Connor Shearer was standing in front of the net in zone one and uh, uh, some of the things that we continue to work on. But I really like the tenacity in his game. Now that you, you get a chance now to look ahead after a win, you're talking about a one game at a time focus. How important is it to finally you know, string back to back wins together at this point? Well, it's always important, uh, uh, but we're going to enjoy this tonight and get ready for Toronto tomorrow. And uh, we know it's going to be a tough feat. They're a good hockey team, and uh, uh, you know, going into overtime, we're going to travel, but uh, we'll get the guys regrouped and uh, refocused, and uh, and try to play a good, solid 60 minutes. Were you disappointed that they didn't obviously get the penalty shot when Pedersen put his glove over the puck? Or I, that? Well, I th for me, I'm looking at a screen, and uh, I can see a guy's hand over, and uh, and they just said uh, that they didn't see it. So obviously, it was tough because uh, uh, that would have been a big call for us.